Hi, uh, check it out. I did the, uh, the Unita building from Return of the Living Dead, the first one. So if anybody doesn't know, doesn't understand, or doesn't recognize the name, there you go. If like you can recognize that, then you definitely know what you're looking at. Uh, the light's not so great in here, but that's okay. I can still show you like some of the details I did. It's all 3D. You know, I cut out pieces of cardboard and put them on top of pieces of cardboard. Uh, I still got a little bit of fill to do. As you can see, I got a little bit of a mistake there, but that's okay. I can fix it. No problem. But I went accurate on this thing. I mean, I really did. Uh, I looked at like 20, like a lot of pictures. This guy even like went to the warehouse and uh, <clears throat> took a lot of pictures. So I used those and went for it. Like I just completely went for it. I still not finished. It still needs weathering and like there's a few places like to put together. I gotta stick in the windows. The windows look like like that. You know, I'm all ready for that too. You know, I built individual pallets and I've got some barrels which I actually forgot to bring out, but uh oop. That's okay. See, I haven't attached these yet, but uh I'm really proud of the way these turned out. Like look at that. It's all weathered and like oil stained, so that's pretty cool. And my pallets. If anybody's ever worked in a warehouse, you know you'll always find an odd orange one or a blue one in there. And I just did other colors and more on the side. There's the the bay door where you receive. Haven't done a roof yet. I forgot to do that. It's like the only piece I forgot. But uh, everything else is painted. And I got to do a couple of uh, power lines coming from here to there. Uh, I even did the antenna. It still needs to be painted. But uh, let me just zoom out. I don't always do that. But yeah, it's kind of, it's it's big. It's almost like a playset. But, um, you know, I don't know if I really want to put it together. Because, like, I mean, I'm showing it. And uh, that guy bought my Halloween house. And it'd be a lot easier to ship this if somebody does want it. Uh, I mean, it's, make me an offer. I don't know what I'd charge for it. Uh, but yeah, make me an offer and we'll talk. Like I said, accurate. <clears throat> so, I always like to have two projects going at once. Uh, my Freddy house, I still have to do a yard, but I'm on vacation next week, so I'll probably do it then. Here you go. Here's the Freddy house. I still have to darken that. Darken that. But as for everything else, I feel it's really, it's almost there. It's pretty well complete. But this one, this one is my newest one. Uh, it's just primed, filling in all the holes, but it's the pump house from IT. Uh, no window yet, you know, there's the, I got a paint in there, because you know, you got the runoff spouts and everything, and then I'm going to put some, uh, some, some grating there to look like a sluice gate, and close that off, and, uh, put some graffiti on the side and stuff like that, uh, really, I like this one, this one's been the most fun for sure, there were so many cuts, and, uh, for once, actually, my hand did not hurt when I was done with it because it's cutting through this cardboard can be tough, like really tough. I kind of buggered up here. It's actually supposed to be a straight thing, but uh, I cut this this too short, and so I had to extend it. But I still like it. I think I'm just going to keep this one because uh, I got a Pennywise that I've been working on, and um, I think he would just look good standing there, you know, with some balloons and stuff. I'm going to do a gate. I mean, a, a, a whole, like swamp garden for them and use the water effect and probably black out that and then paint some glow-in-the-dark paint so when you turn on a light it glows on the inside give it that really creepy creepy kind of feel so that's what's new that's what's going to be coming that's nearly finished and that is what I'm gonna be working on next week uh, I'll probably do a yard got the tree for it and uh, even got a hole punch that cuts leaves so that's gonna that's gonna be awesome when it's finished. I can't wait to spend some time on that. So there you go. Uh, like I said, make me an offer on any three of the any one of these three. If you want them, I'll ship them to you. But gotta pay for the shipping. You know what I mean. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching, and I will make another video when they're complete. So yeah, cool, huh?